I know you. You look kind of. You look like you're having okay, quite yeah. a bit of fun when you're, you're right. <laughs> just I'm, hitting I that am, there. I am having fun. I won't <laughs> lie. I won't lie. <laughs> so, let's see who G Shark plays. Inkling. Wait, I think he's from NorCal. Okay. I, th uh, I think I. S like I've heard his tag, and I think he's from NorCal. And if not, well, I'm sorry. But yeah. I know there's a bunch of NorCal players here, so I'm gonna go with that. So we're gonna be getting Inkling versus Bowser, the first. Uh, the first set, and so far from what I've heard is like, this matchup is bad for the heavies unless the Inkling can't kill. So it's really dependent yeah. on the Inkling to like, play pretty much perfect and always get your hoo-haws down and always get your rollers. Yeah, and well, a lot of Inkling does sets up into the grab that she has. She also has um, really good uh, fast fall aerials, especially with that uh, fast fall Nair, fast fall Forder as well. Yeah, all of our aerials are just so safe. Ooh, what reads the roll in. Yeah, and she just commands a lot of space, especially with like, grenade. And another thing about this matchup in particular is the fact that Inkling gets so much paint off of doing her uh, multi-jab. But the fact that Bowser has his uh, tough guy, that means he can't uh, use that. So, whoa, he went a little bit ham, not able to get his double jump out in time. That was, oh, oh mind, we got a roller. <laughs> yeah. Buried him. Yeah, you're past 160. Uh, might as well just like think about your next stock. Yeah, bringing out the paint press right there. See, there we go, it goes to the multi-jab. A lot of Inklings, like, they'll, in the beginning of the match, they'll do it, like, instinctively, and they'll just have to remember that they can't do it. So, like, later on, I doubt we'll be seeing them doing that a lot more. Literally just going for the one, two, three jab, or just going for a grab altogether. Yeah, just going for the gentleman's jab is, uh, is much better, especially as you mentioned with the tough guy on Bowser. Can just cancel it out and get a punish off of it. All right, we're covering really low, right on the wall, actually still getting hit by the flame breath. Yeah, right. getting knocked go. back off with a paintbrush right there. Gonna recover safely, just recover really low there. And he's trying to land with a, with a command grab there. Uh, let's see what the punish is. I really like the way that Rafi like weaved in and out and really mixed up where he's gonna be in that back air at like 80% he's gonna kill him. Yeah, just stealing that stock away very That's well. Kill. Oh no, goes to the F smash. I would've liked to maybe see a charge up smash. Oh wow, just steals him, kidnaps him. <laughs> Scooping him up right now, Rafi's looking really good. If G-Shark can't get this kill, this might actually be curtains for him. Yeah, he's oh, getting wow. hits in, but this okay. is where we see Inkling struggle a lot. Double oh, grab rage, not missing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we see Inkling struggle with killing if they can't get that edge guard, and especially since G-Shark isn't going off stage. There we go, though, 200%. Yeah, being a little bit too zealous trying to get that grab before that paintbrush hit him, yeah. cost him the side. Only 26% on uh, on G-Shark, so this isn't too bad. If England can uh, get like a couple of hits in, this could be really good for him. Oh, 40% from Regret, I believe. Uh, I don't even know how much percent he took. I just have PTSD from that. <laughs> too much, bro. You get caught in one of those, and you're like, bro, where'd my life go wrong? <laughs> yeah, reads, yeah, just wait for the spot dodge. He knew he was going to up B right there. That's what a lot of Bowser like to do. It's such a good out-of-shield option. All right, going to go with the up throw, up air. Gets Does it. get the booyah. Oh, goes for the double up air, but that big claw coming out. All right, striking out this back air here. No, gonna get sh uh, stuffed out by Nair. I think if Rafi reacts to the fact that if he uh, shields a roller, he can just do a turnaround command grab oh, like yeah, that. Yeah. Is that gonna be it? No, Shouldn't Battlefield. Be yet. Yep, and good DI coming from G-Shark. Gonna recover ultra low and make sure he can't, or the risk of him getting hit is at the all-time low. Ooh, there we go, that's gonna be it, the command grab. Slam him, yep. Ooh, slam and jam, coming through. That's gonna be Rafi taking the first game. Really close, G-Shark. I think that SD definitely like hurt his mentality a bit. It definitely put the momentum back in Rafi's favor. Yeah, just, yeah, he, he has to remember, he has to be really careful. He is a light character against Bowser. He, while he can stuff him out, he can uh, also just die really early. Bowser's just that explosive. Mm -hmm. Let's see where they stay in game two. Yeah, we're gonna go back to Battlefield. I'm not quite sure what I think about this pick. I mean, for Inkling, you do have uh, the platform so you can get like four up airs in a row, but at the same time, letting Bowser live a lot longer and he has uh, those top platforms for his, uh, I don't know what this actual side B is called, but for his side B. So I'm not sure if I really agree with that pick, but this is G-Shark's counter pick. He's the Inkling main and he probably knows better than I do uh, what the right idea was. All right, G-Shark not looking He's not looking happy about this right now. All right, just got to reset his mentality as we're going back into Battlefield once again. Honestly, you just got to forget what happened in game one. Just know it was close. Immediate, immediate <laughs> roller. I, I, lo uh, I highly expected him to throw out a grenade first, but uh, roller instead, probably just to mix up Rafi. Ooh, just goes right through that flame breath. Ooh, I like these, uh, these splat bombs. Really doing a number on Rafi. Oh, nice combo off of the roller there. Bowser is orange. <laughs> 
Wow, he ate quite a bit of percent there from Flame. Nice Ooh. Ooh. Not gonna the F smash. Just a few pixels off. Right now, G Shark is looking so good. He's got this percent coming on. Again, he does need to kill though. Because, you know, 55%, uh, one good read from Bowser, and G Shark could leave. I, I uh, would like to see uh, G Shark actually throw off the slap bomb a little bit more off the ledge, especially since Rafi's been recovering low almost every time that he's been off stage. Oh, that's a good point. But, you know, Rafi's been doing it. Oh my god, going deep for it. G Shark just didn't expect him to be out there. Rafi right. going a little bit too ham off that stage there. Yeah, right now, this is a complete momentum shift. But right now, G-Shark's got some grabs coming in, 50%. Oh, wow, just blows up the splat bomb in there. Another one. God, hey, he's blowing that up. Does not want anything to do with it. Rafi might have found his answer to splat bombs. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh going to land the up, the up smash. Right now, Rafi's not really getting a hit in, but that is the nature of how this matchup goes, is that Bowser's going to get hit for a while, but once he gets that hit, and now he's going in. Yeah, Rafi just holding on to that platform there. Gets the full flame breath. Not gonna catch him with the four there. Man, that flame breath hurt me. I'm not even doing anything. Ooh. All right, gets him in the command grab, and that's not gonna kill just yet. That almost killed though. And I like how he threw the splat bomb to try to like uh, ledge guard Rafi, and Rafi did the side B, and it just barely missed him. Gonna go for the, the fair, but just a little too late. All right, trying to down tilt. Not gonna catch him on the ledge there. Back throw, is that gonna be it? Ooh, not yep. even your heaviness can save you. It's gonna be a G-Shark gonna take this second stock. Now he's gonna lead. He's gonna need to work with this. If you can use that rage to like get some of your damage off. Oh, lands with lag there. Not able to catch him with another up air. I really like that splat bomb they threw on stage. To, like just make sure Rafi had to stay there so he can recover for free. But the free side B gonna take him off real quick. Only 30%, yep, one flame breath. That could, this could be even already. This is damage, you didn't have a jump! <laughs> it wasn't even a strong flame bat, it was like the weak one too. That is, this is how every Bowser's is like, all right, how am I, how am I bringing this back? Uh, he, let's he, just Two moves and he's at 86. <laughs> yeah, every Bowser main is like, all right, how am I gonna bring this back? Short hop, uh, flame breath, and it's like, all right, let's get this done and over with. <laughs> all right, gonna, ooh, oh, big charge. charge. Yeah, G-Shark, not, you're not, you're not hitting me with that. You might have done 40% with the, your dumb breath, but. <laughs> Get that stank breath out of here. One got, one now. Yo, got that smasher breath going on. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> I think. Oh, let's see, it's Rafi's counter pick now. Honestly, a big stage. I could see it staying on Battlefield. I think it's working well for both players. And if not Battlefield, ooh, I don't know. Maybe Town. Some big stage where that will allow Bowser to have more longevity. Uh, there's Ooh, Yoshi's great. Oh wow, he great just choice. Earlier kills too off the side. Yeah, he's just killing earlier everywhere. We got slants. <laughs> oh, isn't like the upper blossom a little bit higher though? I'm not sure. I thought it was just lower on all ends, but I'm not completely sure about that. So you might be right. Yeah, it it, it seems absurdly high. Either way, both Yoshi stages are pretty fun to play on. <laughs> So, game three, we're going to be going to Yoshi's Brawl. Yeah. Yep. I keep confusing those names, but double Nair and a back air. Where'd this damage come from, bro? We just started. Not letting him back to stage. He gets him with a Bowser Bomb. Just a weak hit and a fair. But Rafi's coming popping out. Up. Rafi is popping off. Run off there. Run off here is such a devastating move. It just reaches and covers so much. G Shark was trying to have a good old neutral, and Rafi said, nah, I'm, I'm over that. And you see, he goes for that jab again. What if you wanted to go to heaven, but God said for it? Bro, right now, Rafi, this is exactly how Rafi plays. He, he's so momentum-based. Once he gets that one hit, he gets so much damage off. And right now, he's kind of he's kind of putting the work on G-Shark. But yeah. to G-Shark's uh, respect, he still does have 130% on him. He just needs that roller or an up throw up arrow. I haven't seen him kill with it yet, though, so I'm not sure if he can time it at high percents. Uh, I, th I think Bowser's out of the percentage, but it doesn't matter if Inkling's back. At zero now. Double runoff there. Right, yeah, Rafi's, Rafi's trying to go home. He's like, we get this match done with. You might have taken that first game, but that was a fluke. Rafi's, ooh, hits him with a paintbrush. Not enough to kill just yet. Gets the command grab. Rafi's going 1,000 miles an hour. He's At one point, <laughs> he's going to go for some disrespect. G-Shark needs to calm down this momentum. 
This needs to be, he needs to get this punish. Why would you go for a jab, unfortunate? Yeah, he he's definitely flustered right now. He's, he he's does gonna go not for it have again. an answer. Oh my! Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, okay, I Rob. told you Rob was gonna go for that disrespect. Now G-Shark, you need to use this right now. There we go, damage coming out. Okay, oh, not able to get the land, uh, the falling fair there. You pretty much need to play two perfect stocks. You need to not get side B or just not get random hit. It's definitely doable for G-Shark here, but he has he has to be careful. Rafi has almost every move That's in the arsenal of the kill. It. it should be all right. Oh, yep, you were right. Okay, so second least of life goes for the runoff fair. Oh, still to the down. If we know if that hit, that would have been a different game. Honestly, I'm still rooting for G-Shark. I'd love to see a close game three, but that's it, though. Oh. <laughs> gets the red splat, too. Immediately gets slammed into the next year. <laughs> All right, Rafi going to take that one, 